Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and today I'm doing your weekly readings for August 24th, for the week of August 24th, 2015. Um, this reading is for Taurus. Before I start, I want to say thank you for all the support you've given me, all your likes and shares and subscriptions, all your comments. Thank you for um, those of you who've had private readings with me. I appreciate the opportunity you gave me to provide some insight for you. Um, please remember these are general readings and so they may not apply to all of you watching and um, if you'd like a private reading please email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information you need to schedule a reading. Okay so Taurus let's get into it. On Monday you have the tower with La Federta. Okay, so on Monday, your world is going to be shaken up. On Monday, something you thought was sound, something you thought was solid, um, crumbles. It turns out that the foundation wasn't as so sound as you thought it was. The tower is about um, you feeling shaken up because something um, just disappears out of your life. Something you thought was there to stay um, just crumbles to the ground basically. It's, it just gets shut down. For some of you, this is in your relationships. It could be on Monday something happens and it makes you see that your partner is not who you thought they were or your relationship is not what you thought it was. Um, it could be you find you thought you were going one way and your partner was on a completely different page. And so all the plans you've made are not going to proceed as you hoped they would. For others this is, if it's not in your love life, it's simply a situation that occurs that simply makes you change everything, makes you have, you have to rethink everything. Um, but the thing about the tower, it, it's, it can be a shocking thing and it can be very unpleasant. But the thing you need to remember is that um, the tower brings about a necessary um, change. The tower tells you that the thing you, were, you, you thought you had, you didn't really have, the foundation you thought you had, you didn't really have. And so when the tower comes in, anything that's left standing after the tower comes in, that is your true foundation. That is solid. That you can build upon and it's not going to crumble again. Okay? So whatever happens, keep that in mind and try to look at the positives and try to look at what's left because that is definitely solid ground. On Tuesday, you have the King of Swords with the Nadi. Okay, so on Tuesday, this could be an authority figure in your life, giving you good news about money. This could be you receiving good news about a promotion or a change in your job. Um, it is a transformation in the job. So you could be changing departments. You could be um, receiving more responsibility, um, a promotion, like I said. You could be changing locations and it's better for you and it's more money.
Brothers, this is someone giving you advice about your money situation, good advice, um, very rational, objective advice when it comes to your finances on Tuesday. And um, it's not just finances, it's whatever gives you security and stability. So it could be any area of your life, really. And the King of Swords can be an air sign, a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. But it doesn't really have to be. It's simply someone who's very rational, very, very objective. Someone who um, has a very good poker face on. You can't read them, but they can read you. Um, it's someone who's not afraid to speak the truth. His words may be sharp at times, but they are genuine. They are they are honest. Um, he or she does indeed speak the truth. And so they have a luxury of ideas. They have luxury in their lives because they're very rational and they make calm, collected, objective decisions. So they could giving they could be giving you advice on Tuesday, or this could be a superior giving you good news about your job or money, or it could be um, an institution giving you good good news about whatever you're waiting on that has to do with your security and stability. On Wednesday you have the moon with Fortuna, so. On Wednesday, um, information is being revealed to you and that information is bringing in a lot of good luck and prosperity for you. Um, it is, for some of you, it's something to do with your workplace. It's something that was confidential before, like maybe they were terminating someone and now it's being brought to light to you is being revealed to you because you're asked to fill that position for example and it's a better position a lot more money for others you receive the um, results you were waiting on and they're very good and for some of you this is you sharing a secret and it's very well received maybe you um you've been worrying about whether or not to say anything and you decide you should say something and you do and you get very very positive feedback And it's a day when you should use your intuition because if you listen to your intuition and what your gut is telling you, you will bring good fortune into your life. On Thursday, you have the Queen of Wands with Il Nemico. Okay, so... On Thursday, on Thursday, some of you are adopting the characteristics of the Queen of Wands to deal with um, an unpleasant person or an unpleasant situation. Um, you are finding your inner strength, you're finding your inner courage to speak up, stand up for yourself, don't take nonsense. Um, you are finding your confidence and standing up for yourself. You're not allowing anyone to um, speak to you in a way that's not acceptable. You're very strong, you're very determined, you're very driven. And nothing can stand in your way really. You attract everything and everyone you want to attract to you and your life. For others, this uh, Queen of Wands is a person um, 
who's very supportive to you on Thursday. She could be, she or he could be a fire sign, an Aries, Leo or Sagittarius, but they don't have to be. It's simply someone who's very, very brave, very inspired, very driven. And they are supporting you on Thursday with whatever you need. They have your back. They um, help you grow and they help your um, projects, whatever you need. They give you what you need so that you can develop your ideas and your projects. And for others of you, um, you could be dealing with the bad side of the Queen of Wands on Thursday and that is you're dealing with someone who's being very stubborn, very selfish, very self-centered. Um, it could be at work, it could be a friend or a family member who's simply having a bad day and they're being stubborn and in your, in your way and in your face and you have to find your inner strength to deal with them. On Friday you have the Emperor with Viaggio. Okay, so on Friday I feel like this is you, for a lot of you. You are being the Emperor on Friday. You are taking charge of your own life. You're taking control of your own life, whether that is in your relationships or in your work or in your personal projects. You are in charge. You've got a luxury of ideas. You know what you want and you are going for it. Um, you are charging through. There's no obstacles in your way anymore because you're so driven and determined and you are really getting things moving you can see true progress as a result of your focus, determination and hard work for others um, you are traveling for work your boss is asking you to uh, go to a different location and you can't say no, you're going. For those of you, you could be taking a trip with um, an Aries person. It could be a work related trip. But for most of you, I feel like you are making things move on Friday. You're taking charge and you're going for it. And you're achieving your goals. You've got nothing standing in your way. You do not take no for an answer. You just keep charging through until you get where you want to get. And it's a very powerful day for you on Friday. On Saturday, you have the King of Cups with La Superbia. For some of you, this is you're meeting someone new um, romantically on Saturday. They could be a water sign, a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Um, and it is a beautiful day for love encounters. For others, you are receiving very positive news on Saturday. Um, very positive news or um, news that touches you um, emotionally, that makes you very, very happy. For others, you are celebrating on Saturday, a job well done. You receive news of a job well done and you're celebrating. Um, for some of you, this is in your home. You feel um, safe, loved and happy in your home or in your partnership.
and it's generally good news coming in and it could be coming in from um, a water sign person or it's just good news coming in from whoever but it's uh, whatever you've been waiting for it's news of promotion uh, pay rise bonus um, you get the credit for a project you get um, accolades recognition praise and it's a day where you're very very proud of your accomplishments on Sunday you have the uh, Queen of Swords with Imanil. So on Sunday, if you're dealing with a, um, an air sign, a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, if you're dealing with an air sign, on Sunday you are making a commitment to each other. It could be proposals for some of you um, it could be going exclusive for others it could be um, deciding to be together it could be committing to um, buying a house for others this is you receive news about an air sign and a commitment in their lives they're getting married maybe for others I feel like you are thinking about a commitment that you're asked to make you're not sure you're ready you still have your guard up and you're thinking, you, you have to think whether or not you, it's time for you or you feel comfortable um, to let your guard down and let this person into your life. And for others, you are being very rational about an offer you receive on Sunday. You're really thinking about it and being very, very rational. your spiritual advice you have ten of Ariel and the ten of Ariel is about um, a lot to be grateful for financial success and the promise of retirement a rich and rewarding family life um, it's about a completion you could be um, completing one stage of your life and moving on to the next to a higher level um, it could be a week where you find your support in your family it could be a week where you celebrate something with your family or um, the family gets together um, to celebrate you or to counsel you but it is talking about where you a week where you feel accomplished a week where you feel secure a week where you feel like you have met your goals like you've achieved everything you were trying to achieve um, in whatever area of your life gives you security and stability your uh, love and relationship advice you have let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others okay I feel this ties in with uh, those of you who are having a bit of a shake-up in your relationships the card is telling you to um, find support in your friends and your loved ones let them help you and um, accept their help accept their advice do what they advise you to do because they can be objective and see what the best move for you to make is even though maybe you don't know 
Um, so for singles, this card is telling you if your friends have been trying to get you out of the house, this is the week to get out of the house. But you could be meeting someone, definitely. Um, if your friends are giving you advice on your love life, take it. If your friends are um, asking um, to set you up with someone, accept it. And whether you're single or coupled, your friends have a big role to play this week for you. Whether it's for help, support, um, or facilitating a date or a, a night out where you meet someone. Okay, so definitely lean on your friends this week. Okay, so that is what I see for you, Taurus, for the week of August 24th, 2015. Please like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let me know how the cards play out for you. Um, for private readings, again, please email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with everything you need to um, know before you can make a, a, a book a booking. Sorry. Um, and I hope you've enjoyed the reading and I hope you have a good week. Thank you again for all your support. Thank you for being here. And I'll see you again next week. Take care.